today I'm in front of the post office. This little post office, you can see the sign there saying post office. This little one is way out on the east end almost of Moreno Valley. Uh, many of us choose it because it doesn't have a big line or anything when you go there. And the reason I'm here is because I'm going to talk a little bit about this assignment I did. This was the assignment in my judges class, the part of their last day. It's a, a letter to a friend. And all they had to do was write a letter to a friend explaining something they learned in judges. But as I was preparing this paper for them, it occurred to me that some of the young ones in the class may have never actually written a personal letter. It's supposed to be a letter. And I thought, wow, I imagine a couple of them, if not all of them, have never actually written a letter. We don't do that anymore. Hardly ever. Many of us now, we used to write letters. It's the only way you could stay in communication. It isn't that we don't communicate. Now they communicate maybe even more than we did or do. They don't write letters, but they write text messages, they tweet, they do put things on Facebook, they call. Well, mainly they write text messages to each other. They have chats back and forth and, and talk a lot. And you know, they may not write a letter, but they're still communicating. But you know, the second part of this letter is that I that made, wanted to talk about is the letter was what God had shown us even in studying our old, an old book of the, like in the Bible, an Old Testament book. What lessons for today could there possibly be there? So why I, I think it's important to write, communicate, but I wonder if we take our communication time to talk about what God is teaching us through his word. That's a good thing. Maybe when we wrote letters, we mostly talked about news, but how great if in our tweets and our text messages or even our letters that we share what God is showing us in his word. If we did that, it would remind us to be aware when we read his word. What is God showing me? I want to tell this friend. It might be a way to win a friend to the Lord or to encourage a friend in the Lord. Let's make our communications not just keeping in touch. That's important, I understand. But let's make them spiritual help, perhaps. Encouragement in our walk with the Lord. What a better letter to get than just, hello, how you doing? Here's the weather, here's what I ate for lunch. How much better to get a letter that says, this is what I learned in God's word today. Be encouraged. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Help us to share what you're teaching us in it. And even as that motivates us to learn and to pay attention and to read your word every day, thank you that you wrote us that letter so that we can read it and keep it in our lives every day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless.